Hello everyone. This is Dr. Vincentil Madhasamy, Associate Professor, Computation Engineering. Great pleasure for me to welcome you all for this session. In this session, topic to be covered is layered cloud architectural development under architectural design of compute and storage clouds for unit three cloud platforms architecture. At the end of unit three, the students will be able to explain design principles, architecture, and the enabling technologies of cloud platform. At the end of this session, the students will be able to understand layered cloud architectural development under architectural design of compute and storage clouds. In this session, we will discuss about market-oriented cloud architecture and quality of service factors under layered cloud architectural development. The architecture of a cloud is developed at three layers, infrastructure, platform and application as demonstrated in the diagram. These three development layers are implemented with virtualization and standardization of hardware and software resources provisioned on the cloud. The services to public, private and hybrid clouds are conveyed to users through networking support over internet and the intranets involved. It is clear that the infrastructure layer is deployed first to support infrastructure as a service. This infrastructure layer serves as foundation for building the platform layer of the cloud for supporting platform as a service. In turn, the platform layer is foundation for implementing the application layer for software as a service applications. Different types of cloud services demand application of these resources separately. The infrastructure layer is built with virtualized compute, storage and network resources. The abstraction of these hardware resources is meant to provide the flexibility demanded by users. Internally, virtualization realizes automated provisioning of resources and optimize the infrastructure management process. The platform layer is for general purpose and repeated usage of collection of software resources. This layer provides users with an environment to develop their applications to best operation flows and to monitor execution results and performance. The platform should be able to assure the users that they have scalability, demandability and security protection. In a way, the virtualized cloud platform serves as the system middleware between infrastructure and application layers of the cloud. The application layer is formed with a collection of all needed software models for software as a service applications. Service applications in this layer include daily office management work such as information retrieval, document processing, and calendar and authentication services. The application layer is also heavily used by enterprises in business, marketing and sales, consumer relationship management, financial transaction and supply chain management. It should be noted that not all cloud services are restricted to single layer. Many applications may apply resources here mixed layers. After all, the three layers are built from bottom up with a dependence relationship. From the provider perspective, the services at various layers demand different amounts of functionality support and resource management by providers. In general, software service demands the most work from provider. Platform as a service in the middle and infrastructure as a service demands the least. For example, Amazon EC2 provides not only virtualized CPU resources to users but also management of these provisioned resources. Services at the application layer demand more work from providers. The best example of this is uh, Salesforce.com CRM service in which the provider supplies not only the hardware at the bottom layer and the software at the top layer but also the platform and software tools for user application development and monitoring. The diagram shows the high level architecture for supporting market oriented resource allocation in a cloud computing environment. This cloud is basically built with following entities. Users or brokers acting on users behalf submit service requests from anywhere in the world to the data center and cloud to be processed. 
the SLA resource allocator acts as the interface between the data center or the closed service provider and the external users broker. It requests the interaction of following mechanisms to support SLA oriented resource management. When a service request is first submitted to the service request examiner, interprets the submitted request for QoS requirements before determining whether to accept or reject the request. The request examiner ensures that there is no overloading of resources whereby in many service requests cannot be fulfilled successfully due to limited resources. It also needs the latest status information recording resource availability that is from VM monitor mechanism and the workload processing that is from service request monitoring mechanism in order to make resource allocation decisions effectively it assigns request to virtual machines and determines resource entitlement for allocated virtual machines the pricing mechanism decides how service requests are charged for instance the request can be charged based on the submission time pricing rates or the availability of resources as is as a basis for managing the supply and demand of computing resources within the data center and facilitates in resource allocation effectively the accounting mechanism maintains the actual usage of resources by request so that the final cost can be computed and charged to users in addition the maintained historical usage information can be utilized by the service request examiner and admission control mechanism to improve the resource allocation decisions. The VM monitor mechanism keeps track of availability of VMs and their resource entitlement. The dispatcher mechanism starts the execution of accepted service request on allocated VMs. The service request monitor mechanism keeps track of the execution progress of service request. Multiple VMs can be started and stopped on demand on a single physical machine to meet accepted service request. Hence, the providing maximum flexibility to configure various partitions of resources on the same physical machine to different specific requirements of service request. In addition, multiple VMs can concurrently run application based on the different operating system environments on a single physical machine. Since the VMs are isolated from one another on the same physical machine, the data center comprises multiple computing servers that provide resources to meet service demands. In the case of a cloud as a commercial offering to enable crucial business operations of companies. There are critical QoS parameters to consider in service request such as time, cost, reliability and trust or security. In the summary of this session, we learned about layered cloud architecture development under architectural design of compute and storage clouds. I hope you found this video is clear about the topic I lecture. Thank you and have a pleasant day.